Hi everybody and welcome back to Feature Friday. It's been a minute since we've posted on here. We're really excited to bring another video to you guys and we are going to be talking about a heated product which as you guys know being a Canadian company we do love talking about heated products. We deal with some harsh winters up here so it's just always something that's always fun to talk about and fun to see the different kind of technologies and type of product developments that take place. So let's get started. So this is a product from our 2021 Cool Comfort series. If you check out Cool Comfort 2021 flyer, you're gonna find this in there. It's a part of our, one of the two kind of heated glove solutions that we offer. This is the Black Ice, the 9509 heated glove. It does offer some unique kind of uh, approach to how heated gloves can be kind of integrated in your work solution. You know, some of the ones that we've shown previously were gloves of their own. This is something that you can actually wear on its own as well as integrate in your general kind of hand protection solution for your job site. So, Without further ado, let's get into it. So this glove here leverages the turned on battery technology from Watson. So it has three levels of heating. You can actually see the dialing showing up here. In terms of where the battery is located, it is actually a pretty center location around the lower part of the glove, of course. And this is actually gonna rest around the bottom part of your wrist. So this one here, again, when you pop the battery in, it does feel a little bit heavy at first is what we found, but it's really not too, too bad. So basically you just get this connection cable that comes out of this area here. Basically then you'll just kind of grab your battery, which you have this nice little kind of low profile profile battery and we'll just do a quick plug-in so we've got it hooked up inside here and like I said it is pretty low profile but you can see there's a little bit of that density showing here so this generally feels like kind of a fall lightweight kind of glove. It does have a nice kind of rubber coating on the inside for some grip, and it does also have the touchscreen capabilities on the index as well as the thumb. So basically you just give it a click and then you're set to level three. So right off the hop, you're on the most powerful setting and you get about two to two and a half hours of work time on that setting. And then if you go down one tier, you go to level two, and this is about three to three and a half hours. And then on the number one setting, you're about four to five hours of runtime. And then actually, if you click it one more time, you're gonna see the on off button actually glows, and then it actually will stop glowing. And that's usually how you know it's been powered off. So that's pretty much the gist of how the heating settings work. Generally speaking, the heating coils are actually found primarily, you'll feel the heat around here, but you actually feel it around the fingers as well. This particular glove here that I have in my hand is the large XL. This is actually a sample from our friends at Watson. We're still waiting on our stock to arrive because it's part of the winter collection items that we're kind of bringing in. So it should be in in a couple of weeks. So thank you to our friends at Watson for this. But yeah, basically you're gonna feel some heat around the back of the back of the hand primarily and like we said the kind of between the fingers this one is actually particularly a little bit large for myself so I you know feel the heat in the fingers more so if I kind of put my fingers together nicely but if I do kind of give it a squeeze you do feel it now again if you go for heated clothing generally speaking you're gonna want it nice and snug to your hand so if you find that you have kind of some dead space in the fingers and stuff like that and just kind of some room to wiggle a little bit more than you need to especially a glove like this style you're going to want it nice and snug to your fingers so you don't want to have too much extra room because then you're not really benefiting from the heating features quite as much so the fit is that lycra spandex back it's a form-fitting glove like we said earlier so you definitely want it to fit a little snug uh, not just because of the style of glove but again also because of the heating coils uh, those touch me you know the touchscreen fingertips is definitely something that you'll leverage when you wear the glove on its own but one of the major benefits that you're really going to find with this glove is that because it is a lightweight kind of thinner glove part of the big idea that Watson have with this is that they wanted to create a, a heated glove that allowed you to continue having the benefit of a battery heated glove while inside of a larger glove so if you have a big bulky kind of work glove and you want to be able to put this inside of that like let's say you know like a kind of a welding type or you know like a you know something that's cut rated or even a bit of you know some of the lightweight chemical rated for solvents and stuff like that it's good that you can be able to put a glove like this inside of that so you still get the protection of the outer glove while still getting the heat and benefits inside so that's one of the major things that Watson wanted to try to tackle is that is that need for kind of a heated liner if you will that that also works as an independent glove so that's that's kind of one of the main perks of it. That's why we think this is gonna be a, a nice product to kind of fill in with the, our current existing offering that we have. And of course, if you wear the glove on its own, like we said earlier, you get that nice uh, kind of rubberized gripping and everything like that. And then, you know, you do have a nice kind of Velcro strap just to help kind of keep it nice and tight to you. So overall, a nicely built glove. Um, you know, as you can see here, it is definitely something that's kind of, you know, built nice and stylish. Uh, Watson always does a good job of that. So that's kind of the gist of this. 
So the other thing I also want to mention is that you do get your charging cable. If you do happen to lose this, it does appear that Watson does sell these separately. They do sell the battery separately as well, but those typically sell out pretty quickly in the season. So if you're kind of planning to buy any kind of extra batteries for yourself, you kind of want to bulk up. It is just a USB port base, so really simply to use most of your power adapters you already have kicking around the house will be able to kind of help you get everything powered up. And that's pretty much the gist of it. So that's the video, guys. Thank you so much for checking it out. We're really happy to be kind of back online and sharing some feature Fridays with you all. Uh, this is, again, a pretty fantastic product that we look forward to having in stock and being able to kind of get in your hands and see how you guys feel about it, see if you guys enjoy it. If you have, obviously, any comments, feel free uh, to leave us some comments. Questions, hit us up. You know, you can always like and subscribe. All that, you know, really does help out the channel when we appreciate all the support you guys can give us. So thank you so much. Stay warm out there, and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers.